in, uh, did a phenomenal job. Uh, bullpen was outstanding. Strider came into a tough spot, pitched out of the jam. Ryan Miller uh, was outstanding, and then we brought Riley in, and Riley was Riley. He did, again, just stepped up big for us. Bullpen was outstanding. I thought we played a great defensive ball game. They hit a lot of balls hard that we caught. A lot of line outs, couple line outs to shortstop, a line out to third. Seth Beer made an unbelievable play, which would have been a leadoff double in right center field. Wharton came in on what would have been a leadoff single and laid out and made a catch, uh, I believe, in the sixth inning. Uh, just an unbelievable defensive night for our ball club. Uh, you know, Virginia's pitching staff did an unbelievable job against us. We didn't get a lot of opportunities, but I give our club a lot of credit. You know, we score a run in the third. They score two in the bottom of the third, and we answer right back with a really good offensive inning in the fourth. Uh, Got to give credit to Seth Beer. Uh, you know, uh, had two walks, uh, you know, hit a home run. Logan Davidson is swinging it hot right now. Drilled uh, three balls, really. Hit one ball that would have been a home run. Left fielder made a great play and robbed him of a home run. He's swinging it really good. Birdie continues to swing a hot bat. Wilkie, two hits, drove in a run, scored a run. And Sam Hall, you know, situational hitting is so critical in games like this. Sam Hall gets two strikes on him, second and third one, one out, uh, shortens his swing up, uh, hits a ground ball to shortstop and scores another run for us, and we win by one run. So, you know, again, we did just enough offensively, played a great game defensively, and our pitching staff was outstanding and uh, just really happy to get a win here in game one. Bullpen went four innings, only gave up one hit. Talk about their performance tonight. Well, again, you know, I mean, the strength of our ball club, you know, right now is, is our bullpen. It's just been those guys have done an unbelievable job. Uh, and, again, when you play defense like that behind them, it just gives those guys more and more confidence just to come out and fill the strike zone up, and our defense is going to make plays behind them. And, you know, if you pitch and defend every single day and you limit the free pass, you got a chance to beat anybody in the country. And, and uh, you know, that's what we did here tonight. And, Hopefully we can continue to do that. First time since 2005, you guys have won the first series against Virginia. What kind of momentum does that carry you the rest of the weekend? Well, you know, we got to get a great start out of Brooks. Uh, we had to use our bullpen some. We used our, you know, our, our guys. You know, we used Strider, we used Ryan Miller, and we used uh, Riley. Uh, so we need to try to get deep into the ball game if, you know, if we can tomorrow with Brooks. We've got plenty of guys available, but need Brooks here to give us a good start. Uh, you know, their starter tomorrow is a guy that we have sh we've had a hard time with, a lefty with uh, with plus stuff. So, you know, hopefully we can put some good swings on him tomorrow. It's going to be a heck of a challenge for us tomorrow. They're going to do everything they can to get right back in the series. But, you know, hopefully we can find a way to play another good game tomorrow. Last question for you, Coach. Any update on Kier or Cromwell? Uh, Cromwell uh, is, is still questionable. We'll see if he's available tomorrow. We'll just have to see how he feels. Um, Kier is out. Uh, for the weekend. We hope that Kier will be able to return by next weekend. That is our hope. He is not available this weekend. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's kind of day by day right now with Cromie. Uh, we'll just kind of see where he's at tomorrow.